The DAP's move to push for anti-party hopping legislation in Penang is mere political spinning to make itself look good. Slamming the move as insincere, MCA President Tato Sri Dr. Chua Soilek says the DAP's actions over the past few years have not indicated it was anti-party hopping. He pointed out that DAP and PAS have been silent when Pakatan Rakyat leader Tato Sri Anwar Ibrahim declared that 30 Barisa national MPs would defect over on September 16, 2008, so it could take over Putrajaya. At that time, Anwar received unanimous support from DAP, from Kaadelan and PAS. And when that failed, subsequently, DAP was so proud that they received two ex amno leaders who hopped from AMNO to DAP. And after that, DAP even said that, oh, they are heroes, they should be given two seats to stand in this coming election. The recent case is the two kata from, um, from uh, Sabah also hope to quit AMNO and join Pakatan Raya. They were all welcome as heroes. So why is DAP keeping quiet on all this hopping? If DAP is committed to prevent party hopping, it's very simple. The party can amend its constitution. Party constitution is the easiest to amend. To say that the party will not accept any party hopper. When you go to the state assembly to amend the constitution, you look good, a lot of publicity. But you know it is against the constitution to restrict political freedom. He told reporters on Thursday after presenting a mock check for 100,000 ringgit each to Olympian silver medalist Tato Lee Chong Wei and bronze medalist Pandalela Rinong Pang at Manara Star. Penang Chief Minister and DAP Secretary General Lim Guan Eng said on Wednesday that the state planned to introduce an anti hopping bill. Lim said the proposed bill was in line with the party's stand on party hopping, while DAP Chairman Kapal Singh had said that party hopping betrayed the people who have elected their MP or assemblyman.